This is called The Word of God by Echo's Children. <clears throat> From desert cliff and mountain top we trace the white design. Strike, slip, fault, and all the thrust and sin and a decline. We gaze upon creation where erosion makes it known and count the countless eons in the banding of the stone. On long vanished creatures and their tracks and shells are found where truth has left its sketches on the slate below the ground. The patient stone can speak if we but listen when it talks. Humans wrote the Bible, God wrote the rocks. There are those who name the stars, who watch the sky by night, seeking out the darkest place to better see the light. Long ago, when torture broke the remnants of his will, Galileo recanted, but the earth is moving still. High above the mountain tops were only distance bars. The truth has left its footprints in the dust between the stars. We may watch and study or may shudder and deny. Humans wrote the Bible, God wrote the sky. By stem and root and branch we trace, by feather, fang and fur, all the living things that are descend from things that were. The moss, the kelp, the zebra fish, the very mice and flies. These tiny, humble, wordless things, how shall they tell us lies? We are kin to beasts, no other answer can we bring. The truth has left its fingerprints on every living thing. Remember, should you have to choose between them in the strife? Humans wrote the Bible, God wrote life. And we who listen to the stars, or walk the dusty grade, or break the very atoms down to see how they are made, or study cells or living things, seek truth with open hand. The profoundest act of worship is to try to understand. Deep in flower and in flesh, in star and soil and seed, the truth has left its living word for anyone to read. So turn and look where best you think the story is unfurled. Humans wrote the Bible, God wrote the world. Thank you.